This should be viral. This is amazing. I need more people to use this. I just do because it's so good. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I'm about ready to take out all my fall decorations because in my head, when you're in August, it's basically fall. Having said that, I realized I didn't do any favorites videos for the summertime, so I wanted to sit down and share with you guys some of the beauty products that I have been loving. I'm gonna be talking about skincare and makeup and other beauty related items. And I've got some really exciting stuff to show you guys. I feel like a lot of these products I haven't heard anyone else really talk about and I've been obsessed with them. But before we get into all that, a quick little word from the sponsor Ritual. I recently started taking the Ritual Symbiotic Plus, which is a three-in-one type of supplement. It's a prebiotic, a probiotic, and a postbiotic. And for me, I have slow motility, so my digestive system is very sensitive. So I like that this is gonna help produce more healthy bacteria in my gut, just overall help relieve the gassiness, the bloating, all of the digestive ills that I seem to have sometimes, and this is gonna help relieve some of those. I like that this is minty. It actually feels like it calms and settles my stomach. Another thing that I like about this supplement is it is a delayed release type of capsule, so it actually reaches your colon versus just getting digested in your stomach. So if you guys wanna get 30% off, they are having a promo going for the month of August, and in the description box below, I'll put my link and my code, which is beautybreakdown30. Let's go ahead and kick it off with skincare. Now, my skin has been doing actually very well for the summertime. I've done a couple different laser treatments. I've been doing Clear and Brilliant over the summertime. I've also been doing my Nira laser again. And because of that, I feel like I've had a lot of clarity and pigmentation, but one thing that I've noticed is I feel like it's bringing some of my breakouts to the surface of the skin. And because of that, I have been incorporating a chemical exfoliant back into my skincare routine. Now, normally since I have dry sensitive skin, this isn't something that I use regularly, but during the summertime, it's also probably because I'm sweating a little bit more and my skin's been a little bit more temperamental because of that, that something like this has been really helpful in keeping my skin clear. So this one is from Beauty of Josun. This is the Green Plum Refreshing Toner. This has an HA and a BHA in this. And I like it because it has both of those different chemical exfoliants. My skin really agrees with this. I use this probably about like twice a week, so I don't use it that frequently. But I do feel like even though I've been using it only two times a week, it's been making a big difference on my skin and I've been breaking out a lot less, a lot less of those like little tiny pimples that just take forever to go away. So I really like this and it doesn't leave any residue really left on the skin. It swipes off pretty clean. So this has been a step I've been using after my cleansing routine. Moving into another type of toner that I've been using, this is from Toradin, and this is the Dive In Skin Booster. I've seen a lot of people really enjoy their serums and ampules, but I decided to try this on a whim. I don't know what possessed me, but I just know Toradin is really good for their like hydrating products. This is amazing. I had no idea that this was gonna be so good. I literally just pulled it out, was like, oh, I need another hydrating toner and threw this into my skincare routine. The texture of this is so nice. It has like a nice creamy, milky type of texture without feeling heavy on the skin. My skin soaks this up. In fact, I actually like doing like a multiple layer of this on my skin. So not up to a seven skin, but I probably do like two or three after cleansing my skin. And this has ceramides in it, so it's gonna be really good at rebuilding the skin. So on days that I'm not chemical exfoliating, I find that this is really good to help recover my skin. So this is so good if you're looking for a hydrating toner. I'd recommend this guy. I don't know if people haven't been talking about this, but this is so good and maybe people are talking about it and I'm just not seeing it because honestly, this is one of those products that I'm like, this should be viral, like this is that good. And this is from Goodall. This is the Vita C Dark Spot Care Sun Serum. This actually is an SPF with vitamin C incorporated in it. And it has an SPF 50 plus, PA quadruple plus, so pretty high SPF protection. But on top of that, like I said, it has vitamin C from green tangerine in this, so it's gonna be a higher potency type of vitamin C. And I like that I don't have to use a vitamin C serum underneath my sun protection. This is like an all-in-one step. If you have oily skin, you would really like this because the texture of this is also that like watery serum type of texture. I mean, you can see in the B-roll, there's no white cast to this. There's no effort into rubbing it in. It literally glides onto the skin. It sits so nicely. It cuts down steps in your routine and I'm obsessed with this. Honestly, just how this feels on the skin and goes on, this should be talked about by more people. Let's talk about some makeup items that I have been loving for the summertime. Now, during the summertime, I do keep my makeup pretty light. I just cannot be fussed with wearing a ton of makeup. What I'm wearing right now is 
a lot of the products I'm going to be talking about and kind of the look I go for, minus the lips that are a little folly. But I've been really liking the Shiseido Spots Cover Foundation. I've talked about this before and this is an award winning. I call this a concealer because it's in a pot, but technically it's a foundation. It's a big award winner in Japan and for good reason because this is such a versatile product. Not only is this so high coverage, like this reminds me of theater makeup, but it's very blendable and you can really sheer it out depending on the type of coverage you want. I've been having this awful breakout on the side of my nose the whole summer I've been dealing with it. And now that it's mostly gone away, it's left some dark marks behind. And while I'm waiting for those spots to fade, I've been covering it with a high coverage product like this. How I've been using this is I just take my finger, tap it into the pot, and I just apply it on the area with my finger. The warmth from my finger kind of warms it up into the actual like pores so you get like a smooth finish. And then I usually let it sit while I do some other makeup and then I'll go back and blend out the edges. And I find that that gives me the perfect type of coverage. Now while you can't use this all over your face, I'll just use this on spots that I feel like I need a little bit of extra coverage because it is a little bit heavier. I haven't found a concealer that is this high coverage ever, I don't think. I feel like this is an if you know, you know type of product. And this is from Suzanne, another Japanese product. This is the Pro Glow Highlight. And I actually made a full TikTok on this. If you guys are on TikTok, follow me. I'll go to link it down below. But I'm obsessed with this highlighter. It is the highlighter I keep reaching for. In fact, Japanese highlighters are some of my favorite highlighters of all time. They just so dreamy, so shimmery without looking glittery or like too much on the skin. Absolutely gorgeous. This is so pigmented. It is so smooth. It is so finely milled. I love how this looks on my skin. I will use this all over my face. I'll use it on the top of my cheeks. I'll blend it into kind of my brow bone area. I like to use it on my inner tear duct. I'll use it on the tip of my nose. I'll use it on my cupid's bow if I want. This is also a big award winner in Japan too. So for good reason, I need more people to use this. I just do because it's so good. Moving on to some more cheek products since we're on the topic. I have been trying a lot of Lily by Red products. I want to do a full brand review on Lily by Red. So I have been collecting a lot of their products for the past couple of months. And a big standout for me is the Love Beam Cheeks in the balm and also just the powdered blush form. They have so many colors of these now. In fact, I cannot keep up with the shades that they keep coming out with. I picked two of my favorite colors and these are almost too pigmented. Like I barely tap my brush in these and I have such blushed cheeks. This one is in the shade number five. And then in the Love Beam Cheek Balm, I have number three here, which is what I'm wearing today. These blend like a dream. They go on really nicely. They're not patchy whatsoever. They have so many colors. And look how cute the packaging is. Like, we're talking about cute, fun products. These are it. For eyes, I've been keeping it majorly simple. And for me, these have been what I keep reaching for. I've really been into just kind of a soft matte blur type of eyeshadow look where you can't really see where it starts and where it begins. It just kind of feathers out through the entire eye area. And I find liquid eyeshadows are the easiest way to achieve that look. These are just the liquid eyeshadows in Commonplace and The Most. Both of these have a slightly different look to them. I swatched them in the B-roll so you can kind of see what the shades look like. And then this is the one I'm wearing currently and the one I've reached for the most out of all three. And this is from I'm Unny, the Alluring Liquid Shadow in M01. This color is such a beautiful, kind of warmish brown. It's a bit of a warmer brown without being too red. So it's kind of leans on the side of being neutral and it just is really flattering on my undertone. So just threw it on the ground. I really like them. <laughs> I'm not a lip gloss girl. I've never really been a big lip gloss girl. I like these lip glosses so much, it's kind of turned me into a lip gloss girl. And it is the Peri Peri Ink Lasting Lip Glosses. I have, I think, every shade of these. I've been talking about them all summer throughout my different videos. In fact, I did a whole Peri Peri lip product video. If you want to check that out, I'll link it down below where I talk about the differences because Peri Peri has a lot of lip products. And these are always standouts to me. I'm wearing this shade on my lips right now. It's in the shade 6. It kind of reminds me of the Clinique Black Cherry. Is it Black Cherry? No, that's Revlon. Clinique Black Honey. Kind of reminds me of Black Honey from Clinique. And um, I like these lip glosses because they're more of a balmy lip gloss. They're not sticky or tacky or heavy. They just feel really nice on the lips. They're very comfortable. They're very affordable. And the shades that they do come in are kind of creamier shades. So I find that they look a little bit more universally flattering than some other glosses that might lean a little too cool or a little too warm for me. These are so good. This is the color I'm wearing right now. I will wear this 
probably all fall season, I'm gonna have to pull myself away from these because I love these lip glosses from Perry Press so much. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed my summer favorites video and I'm gonna go and link everything down in the description box below as I always do, including that ritual code. Remember the discount is gonna be good for the month of August, 30% off if you guys are curious about picking that up. And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with friends and family. Hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.